Hello everyone. So once again, the big story of the day is the continuing easing of tension on the line of action control between India and China, with clear signs of disengagement taking place in many of the contentious areas, especially hot springs and Kalwan Valley and other such areas. Some signs that both sides seem to be pulling back a little now. Of course. arguments and conversation will continue and will continue for quite some while as to how far have people pulled out and who has conceded more and are we actually giving the chinese uh, you know a bit more control than they deserve in certain places and of course the big question about canton so will continue because that lake and the area between finger four and finger eight is still a deeply deeply contentious issue but at least temperatures are coming down but the big warning that many people are giving don't think it's all over because a tensions could flare up again soldiers could come back and also the more medium to long term question of what is going to happen in relation between india and china on the economic front and the strategic front and the military front should india ever relax its guards that question is going to remain and i can tell you one thing you're going to hear a lot more about that from us on shows like this over the next few months and perhaps even for the next few years because I don't think that's something that is going to ease in a real hurry. All right, here are the big stories of the day. The Chinese are no longer on Indian territory in Galwan, reports said quoting sources. The temporary structures built by Chinese soldiers at the illegally occupied site at the river bend embankment are being removed by both sides. There are some indicators that China has started de-escalating from the Fingers region in Pangong, the reports added. The Chinese military has dismantled tents and structures near the site of the clash, and vehicles have been seen withdrawing from the area as well as at the Hot Springs and Gogra, two other contested border zones, according to the reports. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi on Tuesday questioned the government over the tension on the border between India and China, including the two separate statements issued by the Indian and Chinese foreign ministries over talks held between the two senior officials. National Security Advisor Ajit Doval had spoken with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi over video call on Sunday before soldiers of the People's Liberation Army moved back from the standoff points in the Galwan area. Rahul tweeted two photographs of the statements issued by India and China after Sunday's stocks asking national interest is paramount government of india's duty is to protect it then why has status quo ante not been insisted on why is china allowed to justify the murder of 20 unarmed jawans in our territory why is there no mention of the territorial sovereignty of galwan valley The government is reviewing around 50 investment proposals involving chinese companies under a new screening policy three sources familiar with the matter told reuters Under new rules announced by India in April, all investments by entities based in neighboring countries need to be approved by the government whether for new or additional funding. The new investment rules were aimed at curbing opportunistic takeovers during the coronavirus outbreak. Coronavirus cases in India have crossed the 7 lakh mark while the death toll is now over 20,000. The country reported over 22,000 new infections and 467 deaths in the last 24 hours according to the data from Health Ministry on Tuesday morning. India is now ranked third in the world after the United States and Brazil, two countries with the highest COVID count in the world. Coronavirus cases in India climbed from 6 lakh to 7 lakh in just 4 days after Maharashtra and Tamil In Nadu, Delhi has become the third state to record over 1 lakh coronavirus cases. Maharashtra now has over 2 lakh covid cases and Tamil Nadu has 1 lakh 11000 cases. The West Bengal government is mulling a 14-day total lockdown in North 24 Parganas on the account of rise in fresh covid-19 cases. The plan for a fresh lockdown comes in the wake of a proposal from the North 24 Parganas District Administration asking for a fresh containment plan. Bidhan Nagar, Barasat, Bashirhat, Barakpur and Bongao municipal areas are likely to come under the lockdown in that district. The proposal suggests closing of markets and public transport in the district only allows standalone shops to remain open. The government is yet to decide on the date of imposition of the fresh lockdown. It may review the situation after 10 days from the date of lockdown imposition. The West Bengal government is also mulling a similar fresh lockdown in adjacent areas of Kolkata and Howrah where fresh cases are also rising steeply. 
Face masks and hand sanitizers will no longer be categorized as essential commodities as per a new order passed by the Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. The decision was taken after feedback from all stakeholders and no complaints were received from states regarding the availability of masks or hand sanitizers. The relaxation will help in free pricing, storage and marketing of the two products which have been in high demand since the novel coronavirus became a serious threat in the country. Both the items were listed as essential commodities as there was a sudden spike in demand for these items and many instances of overcharging were reported during the coronavirus-induced lockdown. More than 1,100 people are expected to be enrolled in the first two phases of human clinical trials for India's first COVID-19 vaccine candidate, Covaxin Bharat Biotech has said. NDTV reported that Phase 1 clinical trials are scheduled to start next week. Results from Phase 1 will determine the start of the next phase of testing. The ICMR has selected 12 institutes to conduct these trials, including AIMS in Delhi and Patna. The top medical body has directed that trials be fast-tracked. The government has insisted it will release a viable coronavirus vaccine on August 15th, but the experts have cautioned against rushing the trials.